double OT revenge from the last game at all? Yeah, um, we, we looking to get that. I'm looking to get that. Um, I'm pretty sure our whole team got the mindset that uh, we're going to come out here and um, do uh, and, and come out here and play a better game than we played last year and the year before that. And so um, uh, we did, we got here working hard. We're working about it, and now we we'll just go up to Stanford and um, you know play play our best. Um, Everybody wants a, a little luck on their side, but in this case, you don't want any luck on their side. Mm -hmm. Literally. Literally. Yeah, yeah, he's not there anymore. Yeah. How much does that help? Uh, it helps a lot. <laughs> it, it helps a lot. You know, when you look at it, when you look at it, it helps a lot. But uh, at the same time, if he was here, um, we just got the game plan. But, you know, he's not here. Um, unfortunately, he's in the NFL now. So, um, you know, good luck with him in, on that part. But uh, just as far as the Stanford, uh, the guys that's uh, here now, we just got to prepare our tails off now. And when we get up there, it's got to be straight domination. How do you need to be better than, like, especially the second half of the last game? How do you, how do you need to, overall as a group? Uh, overall as a group, everybody's got to uh, have the same mindset that uh, we're going to dominate and we just got to have in our mind that we're never going to give up, you know, and, um, you know, uh, like uh, TJ uh, told the team, mm -hmm. you know, um, nothing. We don't have a second chance at nothing. And so, uh, when, when we take these days and we take these games, we gotta take them um, extremely seriously. And um, and so that's what we're doing. And um, and once we come out and once we go to Stanford, uh, we just got to see what happens. You know, we're gonna line up, we're gonna adjust, and um, we're gonna play football. One more thing is uh, the second half, especially. Does that give you guys a little bit of humbleness, saying, "Hey, nothing's gonna be easy. We have to earn everything." Mm -hmm, exactly. Uh, we can't take nothing for granted. And um, you know, uh, these guys slipped past us the last two years, three years. Um, so uh, we already know that you know this team is not a pushover. Uh, they, they are well coached. They got great coaches. Um, you know, they, they do the right things. They make us uh, no barely any mistakes. So um, we just got to make sure we on key. Thanks, man. Yep. Yeah. When, when you uh, talked about TJ saying that, that there's there's not a second chance at anything, uh, has that been kind of the message this week? Um, for the seniors having ever been Stanford? Right. Uh, it's, it's sort of a message uh, to the team. Um, just, just to let us know that, uh, you know, we really need this win. Um, this is going to start our Pac-12, Pac uh, you know, our Pac-12 conference season off. Um, so we need a good jump on it. This is the first true road game you guys are playing. What kind of atmosphere are you expecting up there this oh, week? It's going to be a crazy atmosphere. I'm expecting, I'm expecting you know, it, it to be live. Um, I, I expect it to be sold out. I hope it be. Um, and uh, no problem. And um, you know when we and, and when we do take the field, uh, you know we know it's gonna be a big crowd. We know it's gonna be a hostile environment. So we just gotta prepare. Does it get that heartbeat and that blood pumping a little more than say compared to last week? It was a half-empty stadium, maybe a little bit less of a big atmosphere. Yes. Uh, you know all that makes a difference. At, you know you got the 12th man on the field. Um, so. Uh, at the end of the day, it's our mindset. Uh, it don't matter how many people in the stands watching or or anything like that. As long as we execute the details of our assignment and go hard and play um, play hard and hustle to the ball, um, we'll be fine. Coach Kiff said that Torrin Harris is still a little rusty. He's going to continue to improve. Do you believe that will be the case? Yes. Uh, Torrin Harris, he's getting better every day. Uh, we believe him. We believe in him as a team. Um, you know, he, he's been uh, down with a couple of injuries, but you know, he's going to be better. Um, he's getting better every day. What did you say? Would you say the absence of Isaiah Wiley is hurt? Uh, you know, um, I can't. I can't call it. I can't call it. Uh, these guys out here. Um, if I could say that, then it'd just be you know a robbery to the guys that's out here busting their tail. So I, I wouldn't. I can't say that. I can't call it out. Um, uh, these these guys coming out here every day, um, coming to meetings, coming to practice, um, giving it all. So um, we, we we just gotta adjust. Uh, things happen, and um, you know. We just got to uh, do the best for our team. What do you remember about uh, your pick of, of Andrew Luck last season? And did the impact of it, I mean, at the time, it seemed like the biggest play of the season. Did it, did it lessen because of, you know, the eventual outcome of the game, I think? Um, I mean, I don't really know. I, don't, I just know it was a great play. Uh, I thought the game was just going to be over from that point. That's mm -hmm. all I thought. And um, it wasn't. And, you know, he came out there and, um, and he did what he did. He was Andrew Luck, and um, so uh, you know that was that was last year. Uh, this year is going to be totally different. Um, they, got, they got a different quarterback, uh, different personality on their team. Uh, people gone, people uh, stayed. So uh, I don't know really what to expect out of this quarterback. Um, I just know he's a pretty good quarterback and he's smart. When you um, when you think about the shining moments of your football career, is that is that the play that the first thing that pops in your head? Is when you, you know, jumping on the throw once you realize what happened and running back and then running around the field after the uh, <laughs> uh, I really don't think about it too much like that um, uh, 
to me, to me, at the end of the game, it was just another game, um, and we had to move on because that next week we had Notre Dame. So, uh, <laughs> like, uh, I just look at it as you know, it was a great play. Um, at the end of the day, we lost that game. So, um, uh, it really didn't matter at the end of the day. Uh, it was a great play, but uh, we lost the game. So, um, you know, so I just got, I look at it like that, and um, I just, I just tell myself, I just gotta keep making more plays. Man.